Hello, my name is Thomas and today I'm going to show you how to create a procedural portal pattern like this one here in the middle. And you can scale as many times as you like and that can be used to generate a lot of very interesting patterns like maybe this very graphical one here but that uh, can be animated like you want it it's really interesting and it's basically the same setup for for these patterns this is something else for sure and, and this is one um, that's uh, um, more like a drop. So that, um, but but the, the basic for all these patterns is this polkadot pattern. So let's get started and, and create that. Um, I'm just adding the scene. I'm adding a plane to my scene. And this, this plane contains UVs, so um, I don't need to care about that or, or add them there, there already. Let's use the shader editor at the new material. And first of all, let's simply and double check the texture coordinates. I'm using Node Wrangler for that the UVs and what you can see okay texture coordinates are there let's maybe um, see which one is U and which one is B so U is here X in this case that's U and that's my B factor and so the, the basic for the polkata is a, is a gradient for sure, yeah. And it's not a linear gradient, it's, it's a spherical gradient, or it is a quadratic spherical gradient, it, it's really up to you. And so, so that's a quarter of, of a dot. And when you want to shape this, then you can use the color ram, put it and <coughs> just plug in the factor and, and just um, look at that. And, and now you can increase the border or change the fall off or make it constant. It's, it, it, for now, it's, it's really up to you. So, um, so now you want to have a, a pattern of this dot and you want to have a full polka and only a quarter of a polka dot, so you should use <laughs> the mapping and, and just add it and and what you don't see is it's not uh, working as, as expected maybe so you cannot just say okay I want to have four and four of them so it's, it's just not working so what you need is um, you need to work on this factor uh, in order to, to get it working so let, let me just connect my mapping to my separate and, and then I want to just um, do some magic stuff here and then I want to combine this factor again and, and use it just as my texture factor. So um, this value doesn't matter, we don't use that, x is u and y is v. So what you <coughs> usually use in render phenomena like that is a math node, and just connect that and, and connect that here. So, and, and there's something called modulo, and, and modulo is what 
what gives you the power to to repeat things like that. It's even ten and ten. Okay, so U is working, and now V is working, and that is that is um, the basic vector that can be used to repeat your quarter of dot as many times as you like. Um, but it's still only a quarter of a polkadot and what you maybe want is is, is full polkadot. So when you look at that here then now that's your vector and, and that is what you can expect from that vector. So in order to manipulate this vector, there is something called, um, you can use the math, but this time you want to use the vector math. So, um, your input is a vector and, and your output is a vector. And what you can add or subtract or whatever is also a vector. So let me do that here. And what you immediately can see, there is something going on, but you don't really know what really is going on. <coughs> it's, it's maybe not what you want, but it's something. So when you look at that, and then at that, it's like, you know, uh, it's not what you want, you want to subtract. And because you want to shift that to the left and, and a little bit up, so let me use just a value to, to see a little bit better. So it's three times the same value for x and y or in our case for u and v, third value doesn't matter. And now you can see what's going on here. You can just shift this vector and, and looking at that, gives you something like that. And playing around with that is lots of fun. You know, it's something like that here. But um, I don't want to do that at the moment because uh, I, I only want to show you how, how to set up a, a Polkadot pattern and, and not all the other patterns. So, um, so that's basically it. Now you can repeat that. And you can use it for, for a lot of interesting things. You can manipulate something here in, in that vector setup. You can manipulate here. And you can add a manipulation somewhere here to get uh, other interesting patterns. Um, I can show you that in another tutorial if you like it. Um, if not, it doesn't really matter, so it's up to you. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, bye bye.